Hello everyone, welcome back to Need Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful hoodie here. I have free written pattern for sizes extra small, go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available on our Etsy. Robbery and love crafts. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below and for today tutorial I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing in this picture here And this is gonna be part one. I hope you enjoy and let's get started Here's the materials that I use for this project for this project you will need number three lightweight yarn and I use two colors of ice yarn this is Organic baby cotton yarn, 100% cotton. This is number three lightweight yarn. In each ball, it has 115 meter. It is about 125 yards. And for color A, I use about 750 yards. This one in color light olive green. And for color B, Everything the same, same brand, same yarn, but this one in color gray. This color B, I use about 150 yards. And if you want to substitute yarn, you can do that as well. Just please check the gauge before you start it. And crochet hook, size 5 millimeter. Scissors, yarn needle, and some stitch marker. Okay, before we start, I want to talk about this hoodie pattern a little bit. So for this pattern, we're going to make in four separate pieces and then sew them together. And for the hood, it's add later. Alright, so we have one back panel, one front panel, and two sleeves panel. So those two sleeves make exactly the same. Let's talk about the back panel first here. For the back panel, we're going to make the chain this way, work from the bottom up, okay? The chain that we make is going to be the width across, and then the row that we make is going to be the length. And then when we're done with the back panel, we're going to make the front panel. For the front panel, start exactly the same as the back panel. Chain this way, and then crochet this way, until we come to this part. And then after we come to this part, we're going to make one side at a time. And we also gonna decrease as well to make a v-neck here, v-neck shape. Don't worry, I go step by step, okay? So after I done with this side, and then I gonna come back to this side, add a new yarn right here, and then crochet this side, all right? And then we're gonna make the sleeve. For the sleeve, we're gonna make the cuff first. For the cuff, we're gonna make the chain this way. The chain that we make gonna be the, the length of the cuff. And the row that we make gonna be the circumference of the cuff. And then when we're done with the cuff, we turn this way. And then we're gonna continue crochet the sleeve this way. Alright, and then the row that we make gonna be the length for the sleeve. And two sleeve make exactly the same. And after we have four panels, we're gonna sew. Sorry here. <laughs> so yeah. We're gonna sew the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam here. But we're not gonna sew all the way here. We're gonna leave some stitches open as well. And again, I will show you step by step. And after that, we're gonna sew the sleeve right into the main panel here. And then after that, we fold the sweater in half. And cut a new strand of yarn, sew the side seam till we reach the armpit, and then sew until the end. Okay? And after that, we're gonna make the hoodie. For the hoodie, we're gonna add a new yarn right at the corner here, and then we're gonna go around the neckline, come back to the this corner, and then kind of like back and forth this way, and then sew the top of the hood at the end, and then we're gonna add, make a drawstring, and then add it on the hood. That's it. Very easy. Okay, so let's talk about the measurement here. Everything in this tutorial just for size small. Again, just check your size on the free written pattern, the link below. So yeah, the width across 
it is 19.69 inches width. And in the length, it is 16.40 inches length. And this is going to be part one. So part one, I'm going to show you how to make the back panel, the front panel, and the sleeve. And in part two, I'm going to show you how to sew the pieces together and then how to crochet the hood and in the drawstring. And that's it. Very easy. I'm going to show you finished project real quick here. So here's what it looks like. Beautiful. I love it. It's pretty big. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with the back panel first. So make slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 65 chains loosely. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have 65 chain here. Row one gonna be the right side for an art number row gonna be the right side so we're gonna make half double crochet into the second chain from the hook okay skip the first chain so I yarn over my hook I skip the first chain insert the hook into the next chain and then yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook that is a half double crochet and then we're gonna make half double crochet into each chain across. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next chain. I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then I yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating that across. And the reason I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain is give me very nice edge at the bottom here. That's what I like. Okay. All right. I will be back when I'm at the end of row one here. I'm at the end of row one here and I have a total of 64 stitches across. And for row two, we're going to chain one and turn. And the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And then we're going to make half double crochet into each stitch across. So I'm going to make half double crochet into the first stitch here. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, I'm going to keep repeating this across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 2. Okay, now I'm at the end of row two and I have the same 64 stitches across because we not increase or decrease. And then for row three to row 41, we're gonna repeat row two. Okay, very easy. Just make half double crochet into each stitch across. And I'm gonna show you a little bit on row three. Repeat row two, we chain one and turn. And then make half double crochet into each stitch across. Very easy. All right. I'm gonna keep repeating row two until I have 41 rows total, and I will be back. And if you want a longer sweater, just keep repeating row 2 to your desired length. But just make sure to end on the right side, which is an art number row. Okay, for my back panel, I'm at the end of row 41 here. And then next, you just need to cut the yarn. So I leave a tail about 10 to 12 inches long. Okay, and then after I cut the yarn, I pull the yarn out. And I'm done with the back panel. Pretty big. <laughs> Alright, and next we're gonna make the front panel. 
Okay, for the front panel, start exactly the same as the back panel, but I will show you. <laughs> I don't want to confuse you. So make slip knot and then make 65 chains loosely. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have 65 chain here. And row one gonna be the right side for an art number row gonna be the right side. We're gonna make half double crochet into the second chain from the hook here. Skip the first chain, okay? Again, I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. And then half double crochet into each chain across. All right, I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each chain across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row one here. I'm at the end of row one here and I have a total of 64 stitches across. And for row two, we're gonna chain one and turn. And the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And then we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across. So I'm gonna make half double crochet into the first stitch here, half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating this across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two here and I have the same, 64 stitches across, and now for row 3 to row 24, we're gonna repeat row 2. And then when we reach the end of row 24, your work will look like this. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna make the upper left and upper right. And we're gonna focus one side at a time. Alright, don't worry, I'll come back when I'm at the end of row 24 and show you how to make the upper left and upper right. Okay, but from now on, you're just gonna keep repeating row two. Okay, let me show you a little bit on row three. So, row three, we, we chain one and turn. Just repeat row two. Make half double crochet into each stitch across. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating row two. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row 24. Good luck. Attention please. <laughs> so, however many rows you add to the back panel, you have to add the same number of rows to the front panel before you start the V-neck line, which is the upper left and upper right. For example, if the pattern tell you to make 41 rows, on the back panel but you want it longer you make 51 rows instead that means you add 10 more rows right so that 10 rows you need to add to the front panel before you start the v neck line which is the upper left and upper right okay i hope that makes sense okay now i'm at the end of row 24 here and then next, we're gonna make the upper left and upper right. And to do that, we're gonna focus one side at a time. And we're gonna do the upper left first. And then after we're done with the upper left, we're gonna come back and do the upper right. Okay? So the upper left, row 25, chain one and turn. And then make one half double crochet into each of next 32 stitches. Every size is, is different. Just check your side. So basically we want half of this panel. So I have uh, 64 stitches, right? And then I divide by two. So I'm gonna have 32 here and 32 here. All right. So after I chain one and turn, I'm gonna make half double crochet into the first stitch. So here's the first stitch. Here's one, two, three, four, five, 31, and 32. All right, now I have 
32 stitches here. And let me show you a little bit here. So we're just going to focus on this side. So this side is not here yet. So we're right here right now and we're just going to go back and forth. And we're also going to decrease as well. Don't worry, I will show you. Okay. So after I have 32 stitches, row 26, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to make half double crochet two stitches together, the first stitch and the next stitch. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to yarn over hook, insert the hook into the first stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, and then yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, and I have five loops on my hook, and then I'm going to yarn over hook, pull through all the loops on the hook. That is half double crochet two stitches together, so we just decrease one stitch. So that become one stitch, okay? And then make one half double crochet into each stitch across. Alright, I will be back here. I'm at the end of row 26 here and I have a total of 31 stitches across because we just decrease one stitch here okay row 27 we're gonna chain one and turn and this time we just make half double crochet into each stitch across no decrease so half double crochet into the first stitch half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next all right i will be back and I'm at the end here. Okay, I'm at the end of row 27 here, but I haven't made the last half double crochet yet because I want to show you a little bit here. So for the last stitch, sometimes it's very difficult to see, very easy to miss, so be careful. This is going to be the last stitch that I'm going to make half double crochet into. Okay, this is the half double crochet two together from the previous row and this is the chain one and turn okay so don't forget to crochet into that stitch if you cannot see you turn this way as well as you can see this stitch belong to these uh, half double crochet two together <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go ahead and make the last half double crochet in there like that all right at the end of row 27, I have 31 stitches across because we're not decrease. So now we're just gonna repeat row 26 and row 27 over and over. So for size small, for me, I'm gonna repeat row 26 and row 27 seven more times. And I will have a total of 41 rows. Start count from row one, all right? And then we're going to decrease every other row because row 26, we decreased and row 27, we not decreased, right? So that means every other row, you will decrease by one stitch. Okay, I will show you a little bit on row 28. So for row 28, we're going to repeat row 26. It's going to be the decreased row. So I chain one and turn. And then we're going to make half double crochet the first stitch and then the next stitch together. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the first stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop. I have five loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Alright, and then half double crochet into each stitch across. Like that. So see, we just decrease one stitch. All right. See, as you can see, it start to shape like that a little bit now. So, and then when I'm at the end of row 28, I will have a total of 30 stitches across. And then for row 29, I'm going to repeat row 27. I'm just going to make half double crochet into each stitch across. No decrease. 
and then when I uh, come to row 30 I gonna repeat row 26 like that I gonna decrease one stitch at the beginning like that okay all right if you cannot remember please rewind the video all right I gonna keep repeating row 26 and row 27 seven more times and I will be back good luck and take your time okay now for my upper left I'm at the end of row 41 and I have a total of 24 stitches left okay and then after that you just need to cut the yarn I already cut my yarn and you don't need to leave a long tail for the upper left so just leave a little bit of tail and then pull the yarn out and I'm done with the upper left and for the upper right we just gonna add new yarn right at the middle stitch here the stitch next to the last stitch at row 25 on the upper left right so this is the last stitch on row 25 right into the next stitch we're gonna add a new yarn there and to do that make sure the panel right side facing up so right now the right side of this panel facing up already so I insert my hook there I bring the new yarn and then yarn over pull up a loop and then chain one and the chain one doesn't count it as stitch and you can use any method you prefer for adding the new yarn and then into the same stitch that we just add the new yarn we're gonna make one half double crochet okay and then half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch you're gonna keep doing that until the end here and I will be back so this is row 25 on the upper right okay okay I'm at the end of row 25 on my upper right here and I have a total of 32 stitches across and then for row 26 we chain one and turn and then make one half double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left at the end okay so I make half double crochet into the first stitch half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next all right I will be back when I have two stitches left here okay I have two stitches left at the end of row 26 and then next we're gonna decrease and to do that we're gonna make half double crochet the last two stitches together so yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch which is the last stitch and then yarn over pull up a loop five loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook okay and then at row at the end of row 26 I have a total of 31 stitches across we just decrease one stitch here and then for row 27 we chain one and turn and then we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across no decrease half double crochet into the first stitch half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next okay I will be back when I'm at the end of row 27 here I'm at the end of row 27 here and I have a total of 31 stitches across because we not decrease and now we are just gonna repeat row 26 and row 27 over and over again for me for size small I gonna repeat row 26 and row 27 seven more times and I will have a total of 41 rows start count from row 1 all the way up okay it's very similar to this side to the upper left for the upper left we decrease at the beginning of the row right every other row but for the upper right we decrease at the end of the row every other row but other than that it's pretty much the same 
it's very similar. Uh, let me show you a little bit on row 28 here. So row 28, we're gonna repeat row 26. You chain one and turn. And then half double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left. Okay, now I have two stitches left. I'm gonna decrease by making the uh, half double crochet last two stitches together. Like that. Okay, at the end of row 28, I have a total of 30 stitches across. I just decrease one stitch. And then for row 29, you're gonna repeat row 27, which is the normal row, no decrease, like that. Just repeat row 26 and 27, 26, 27. All right, I'm gonna keep doing that until I reach the end of row 41, and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I reach the end of row 41 here on my upper right, and I have 24 stitches left, same as this side. And then after that, you just need to cut a yarn. So for this side, you need to leave a long tail, about 10, 12 inches, and then put a yarn out. I already went ahead and cut my yarn, so yeah, this side, leave a long tail, this side don't need to leave a long tail. All right, next, we're gonna make the sleeve. Okay, for the sleeve, we're gonna make two. Exactly the same. I already make one side here and we're gonna use the color B and color A mixed together. And then let me turn this side here. We're gonna start with the cuff first with color B. We're gonna make the chain this way for the cuff and then we're gonna crochet back and forth this way. And the row that we make gonna be the circumference. All right, and then after that, after we're done with the cuff, we're gonna turn the cuff sideways like this, and then we're gonna use the same yarn that we use for the cuff to continue the sleeve. The sleeve, we're gonna crochet this way back and forth. All right, when we come to this part, we're gonna chain to color A for two rows, and then chain back to color B for two rows. And then after that, we're gonna chain back to color A for the rest of the sleeve. Don't worry, I will tell you exactly how many rows that you need to make. And at the end, leave a long tail. That's it. Easy peasy. All right. I'm gonna put right here. Before you start, I want you to leave a tail, a long tail about, I would say 14, 15 inches long because we're gonna use this tail to sew up this part of the sleeve, the color B section here. See this side, I already leave a long tail here. I use hair tie to tie it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I have my long tail here. And then make slip knot. And I'm gonna make 11 chain loosely. This is gonna be the cuff. Here's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then row one, we're gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook here. Skip the first chain. Okay, I insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. Again, I insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then I yarn over, pull up a loop. I have two loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is a single crochet. And then make one single crochet into each chain across. So single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next chain. And single crochet into the next. I'm at the end of row one here. And I have a total of 10 stitches. And row two, we chain one and turn. And then we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across, but into the back loop only. 
okay so after i chain one and turn i gonna insert the hook into the first stitch but right into that back loop only like that and then yarn over grab a loop and make single crochet and then single crochet into the next stitch back loop only oops sorry and then single crochet into the next stitch back loop only single crochet into the next stitch back loop only like that you're gonna keep doing that across so see if we go into both loop we're gonna go into this V shape right but we just go into back loop only which is this one all right I will be back when I'm at the end of row 2 I'm at the end of row 2 here and I have the same 10 stitches across because we not decrease or increase and then for row 3 to row 30 we're gonna repeat row 2 and this is just for size small okay AV sizes is different just check your side so I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 3 here just repeat row 2 we chain 1 and turn and make one single crochet into each stitch across but into the back loop only next stitch here back loop only next stitch here back loop only like that all right just keep repeating row two and i will be back when i have 30 rows total and i should be right here all right <laughs> i will be back soon good luck okay for my cuff i have 30 rows here here's what it look like and next we're gonna crochet the sleeve and to do that we're gonna turn the cuff sideways like this okay and then we're gonna crochet into the end of each row okay and I call that space instead so first chain one never count it a stitch and then make one half double crochet into the first space here and then make two half double crochet into the next space here like that and then you're gonna make one half double crochet into the next space and then two half double crochet into the next space you're gonna keep repeating that across it's like one two one two one two one two across okay don't worry I'll show you a couple more times so next space here make one half double crochet next space here make two half double crochet Next space here, make one half double crochet. Next space here, make two half double crochet. Like that. Oops, sorry. All right. Here's what it looks like so far. Keep repeating that. One, two, one, two, one, two across. And at the end of row one, you're going to have a total of 45 stitches okay this is just for size small every size is, is different I'm at the end of row 1 here and I have a total of 45 stitches across and for row 2 we chain 1 and turn the chain 1 never count at a stitch and then we're gonna make one half double crochet into each stitch across no increase or decrease so I make the first half double crochet into the first stitch here and then half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch all right I will be back when I'm at the end of row two I'm at the end of row two here and I have the same 45 stitches across because we not decrease or increase and from now on we're just gonna repeat row two just half double crochet back and forth and uh, let me show you in here 
and from now on for the whole sleeve I just make half double crochet no decrease no increase just repeat row 2 and also I gonna chain color here to color A and then color B and then back to color A I will show you don't worry but I don't want to tell you how many rows in each color each section that I made okay so I have 12 rows of color B here and then I have two rows of color A and then I have two rows of color B and then I have 20 rows of color A alright so I have the sleeve total of 36 rows if you know how to change color you can go ahead and do that and if not I will show you don't worry so for color B row 3 to row 12 I gonna repeat row 2 let me show you a little bit on row 3 I chain 1 and turn and then make half double crochet into each stitch across just repeat row 2 okay very very easy all right for color B I gonna keep repeating row 2 until I reach the end of row 12 and I will come back and show you how to change color to color A and start row 13 okay good luck I'm at the end of row 12 here and for row 13 we gonna use color A and to do that I gonna redo the last half double crochet on row 12 Okay. and you can use any method you prefer but I don't want to show you what I like to do so I yarn over my hook I insert the hook into the last stitch on row 12 here and then yarn over pull up a loop and now I have three loops on my hook I'm not gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook with color B I'm gonna bring color A up and then hold it on the back like that and then I yarn over my hook with color A and then pull through all the loops on the hook like that. Here's what I like to do. Okay. And now row 13, we're going to chain one and turn. And I'm not going to cut the color B yet. I'm just going to leave it hang right here. Okay, after I chain one and turn, I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across. Just repeat row two. Okay, I will be back when I'm at the end of row 13. I'm at the end of row 13 here. I have the same 45 stitches across. For row 14, still color A, okay? We chain one and turn. And then just repeat row two, half double crochet into each stitch across. I will be back when I'm at the end of row 14. Okay. I'm at the end of row 14, but I have one stitch left here. I haven't made the last half double crochet yet because we're gonna change color back to color B again and I want to show you again so I'm gonna yarn over hook insert the hook into the last stitch there sorry <laughs> a little tight okay and then yarn over pull up a loop when I have three loops on my hook I'm gonna drop the color a and then bring the color B up remember I didn't cut the color B like I told you earlier I bring it up and then I yarn over hook with color B and then pull through all the loops on the hook like that this is what I like to do okay and row 15 we're gonna chain one and turn we're gonna use color B and again I'm not gonna cut color a yet I just let it hang right there and then I just gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across with color B this is row 15 
Oops, sorry. Alright, I'll be back when I'm at the end of row 15. I'm at the end of row 15 and I have the same 45 stitches across and row 16 we still use color B we chain one and turn and then make half double crochet into each stitch across okay I will be back when I'm at the end of row 16 I'm at the end of row 16 here but I haven't made the last half double crochet yet because row 17 we're gonna use color A so I'm gonna show you again how to chain color so I yarn over hook insert the hook into the last stitch there yarn over pull up a loop okay and then bring the color A up and then yarn over hook with color A and pull through all the loops on the hook all right and then row 17 to row 36 I'm gonna use color A so row 17 chain 1 and turn and now we're not gonna use color B anymore I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later like that and then just repeat row 2 just make half double crochet into each stitch across All right, from now on, just gonna be color A, just repeat row two over and over. All right, so yeah, like I said, row 17 to row 36, I'm gonna repeat row two with color A. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row 36. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I'm at the end of row 36 here. And next, you just need to cut the yarn. So I cut the yarn, I leave a tail about 40 to 50 inches long, enough to sew the sleeve into the main panel, okay? So after I cut my yarn, I'm just gonna put my yarn out like that. And I'm done with the sleeve. So you need two of this exactly the same. I already have two here. So next, we're gonna sew all the pieces together and I will show you how to do that in part two.